Alright guys, so I know it's a little late here at Comic Universe for a review of Dark Crystal, The Age of Resistance. Uh, reason being, uh, shit's been going down recently. I don't know if you've been keeping up with the weather, but, uh, it's been kinda nuts. Goes out saying. So, uh, you'll forgive me if I'm, you know, didn't exactly get this right out the gate. It's been kind of a cu uh, tough couple of days, and I've been having one friggin' anxiety attack after another, so, uh... Forgive me. <laughs> anyway. Um, so anyway. Uh, Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. This has been probably my most anticipated Netflix show for as long as I can remember. Because, yeah, I love the Dark Crystal. Um, this was definitely my, like, very anticipated. And it's kind of it's weird. Like, waiting for a sequel or anything to do with the Dark Crystal was like waiting for the new Tool album. Like, you had such high expectation for it, and was it going to live up to the hype? I honestly, <clears throat> excuse me, I honestly think, um, this did. But I do have some qualms about it. Just little story things here and there. Um, and I think the pacing as well, but I'll get into that when I get into that. Let me stress again, this was good. This was a nice little return to the world of Thra. And I gotta be honest with you... Jim Henson's Creature Shop knocked it out of the freaking park. They did amazing. They, you know, they make you care about puppets. You know, it's an all puppet cast, no live action crew, and to do ten consecutive episodes of just characters you have to focus on with puppets, that's a, um, that is an accomplishment. Also, what I love is that this is majority practical effects. Now there is admittedly CGI use. But they did stress that they wanted to limit CGI to a bare minimum unless they needed to. So, and the CGI blends very well with the practical effects and the puppet effects. So I'm really, um, I was really impressed by that. Like, there are some moments where I was like, is that CGI? Oh, that's, pu that's puppetry. That's really damn good puppetry. Um, so I thought that was fine. I thought that was really good. Um, the cast was phenomenal. A uh, uh, major shout-out to uh, Simon Pegg, who voices Chamberlain, uh, in here, and he does a re like, you could, like, you could, you'd have to tell me that, um, that was Simon Pegg as, uh, Chamberlain Skeksis. That would, like, how he does that voice, you, you couldn't tell. I also, side note, because of the performance as Chamberlain, I kind of want to see, um, I kind of want to see uh, Simon Pegg voice Starscream in a future Transformers project. I think he'd be really good as um, uh, as Starscream from. And he actually like Chamberlain. And that's the thing is that we all remember Chamberlain the best because he had the most character. Well, thankfully, what this does is actually give the, the Skeksis a little more character. I hate to say it, folks, but the, the Chamberlain, you know. The Chamberlain was the only Skeksis in the original movie that had character. The rest that were pretty much evil. And admittedly, they are evil. Like, that's the whole point, is that the Ske the cruel they're known as the cruel and twisted Skeksis for a reason. So, that's kind, you know, that was kind of the point. But they now have character to them. Like, they all have, um, it's very Game of Thrones and House Lannister with them. And the Skeksis always repay a debt. With blood. <laughs> a lot of blood. Um... This, um, also, this other side note, Jason Isaacs plays the Emperor, and I, again, like, I kind of want to see him voice, Me whenever they do another Transformers project, um, I'd like to see him voice Megatron in some capacity. Yeah, Simon Pegg is Starscream, Jason Isaacs is Megatron, um, that'd be really good. You know, no disrespect to Frank Welker, of course, but still. Um... I think he'd be really cool as Megatron. And Mark Hamill is also in here. This is a star-studded cast that really, like, sometimes they they don't do voice modification. You've got Taron Egerton, you've got Jason Isaacs, you've got Mark Hamill, you've got Aquafina, who, um, she voices a, ga just this disgusting Skeksis, and she does a great job at it. Um, I don't know how much pressure she had to put on her voice to make herself so, like, she has, like, a sore throat 24-7. I imagine that did not do wonders for her. But, again, I have to stress that this really makes you care about the world of Thra. Like, the world itself and how imaginative it is and how just eye-opening it is with just practical effects 
The world of Rest oh, Restoros can go suck a fat one for all I care after seeing Thra. Um, that's all I'm saying. And unlike Game of uh, uh, unlike the Game of Thrones final season, you care about these characters. Now, having said that, though, I do have some thoughts. Preferably the whole new the whole new prequel story. Now there were prequel comics before, but they're no longer canon. I guess we don't see. Um, so basically, the whole problem is that Ogra, in her infinite wisdom, you know, in in exchange for knowledge handed over control of the crystal and subsequently Thra to the Skeksis because they look like a bunch of trustworthy people. <laughs> like, no, really, who in their right mind thinks these scary-looking bird people who I know are the dark offshoot of the mystics, who, who thinks like that? Like, really, <clears throat> and Ogre acknowledges that, yeah, I effed up big time in that regard, but I kind of need to fix this. Also, Age of Resistance means we get to see the origin of the Gelflings and all the tribes, but, and of course, if your name ain't Jen, you ain't living to see the uh, prophecy fulfilled, is all I'm saying. But, <clears throat> um, the big thing is that the Gelfling all have tribes, and boy are the Gelfling dumb. Like, really. There are some blatantly, like, um, like, just blatantly um, stupid characters in here. Like, there are just some blatantly dumb decisions some of the characters make. And it's not so much the, the uh, the main, well, the main character, Rian, uh, does make some dumb decisions by going straight home, because I was like, well, uh, duh. Uh, of course they're gonna try to capture you there, dude. Um, but yeah. No, and also, like, no one questions the Skeksis until, like, a few episodes in. And, uh, and everyone thinks Rion and everyone else is crazy for thinking that the Skeksis aren't great gods. And admittedly, like, I could see, like, blind worship and all that, like, that, you know, uh, you know, worshipping these people, at, you know, worship and blind faith can be toxic, but it goes to the nth degree at points. It goes really to the nth degree, like, when, um, when, um, what was it, uh, Rion, uh, when, uh, when Rion's uh, lover Mira gets killed, spoiler, uh, everyone instantly assumes, oh yeah, Rion killed Mira, Rion killed Mira. And I was like, dude, they were clearly a couple. Why would suddenly he turn on her like that without good reason? And they think of some bullshit excuse right off the gate. Again, Chamberlain straight up being Starscream, and they're like, yes, totally, that's what happened. That is totally what happened. So, yeah, Gelfling, y'all fucking dumb. So y'all got uh, you know y'all got what was coming to you in the in the future you know you guys got Order sixty six for a reason I can see why <laughs> that's all I'm saying is that I can see why the Gelfling were were wiped out so yeah um anyway there are so, like and again I feel like and maybe this is Netflix thing because Netflix has a tendency to do this. Um, is that they just make these just oh, like near hour long episodes every time, so it's hard to just binge without r taking out most of your day. And I kind of feel like some of this would have been better if not all of them were like an hour long episodes. Like every consecutive time, it's like this hour long, almost hour long story. And there are just points where I'm like, uh, this could have been cut out. I'm just saying, like, I'm just kind of watching a lot of nothing here. Like, that's the thing, is that there's just so much pacing, because I feel like Netflix wanted to drag it out as much as they could to get viewer shit, to get viewer time. So, yeah, there's just some points in here where I'm like, God, this could have been cut down. Like, could we, instead of, like, om like cons almost every episode being an hour long, I'd be fine with just 40-minute episodes. Or, yeah, I feel like you could have told a very more concise story without it being... There were some, just some episodes and subplots that I was just like, Oh my god, I don't care. Go back to the other stuff. <laughs> you know? But other than that, this definitely lived up to the hype. It's really good to, be, to return to the universe of Dark Crystal. I recommend this. If you were a fan of Dark Crystal, you've already been probably been watching it. Um, but if you haven't, I recommend this. I will admit that there is, like, again, I feel like some of the episodes are just a little too long for just pointless reasons. Also, again, Gelfling are dumb. <laughs> Um, and sometimes you'll care more about going to watch the Skeksis than, uh, because, let's admit it, 
the Skeksis are the best thing in Dark Crystal. Let's not kid ourselves, people. Um, that's that's why we remember the Dark Crystal is because of the Skeksis. Because what's real? No, really. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of Dark Crystal? Oh, the Skeksis. Just like when you think Star Wars, you inst the first character you usually think of is Darth Vader. Yeah, it's like that. <clears throat> anyway, so you guys tell us here at Comic Universe, what do you guys think? Uh, what did you guys think of Dark Crystal uh, Age of Resistance? Did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? Uh, comment below, let us know, and as always, if you are new here, remember to Hulk smash that subscribe button and be a part of Earth's My Subscribers. Um, as, and as always, we'd like you to like, share, and subscribe this video with your friends, your family, and whoever else follows you on Instagram or any other, other social media sites or whatever. So, uh, once again, I am DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.